Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. I just spent $60 on the browser, so we are going to jump into this browser right now. If you're new to the channel, this is a first impression video. I haven't actually tested out the application except for logging into LinkedIn, uh, which I'm going to use to demo uh, some stuff, or at least try to. Uh, I paid $60 for this and I got the application for um, nine months. It was like an early access offer. The pricing is uh, actually, uh, I think it's 19.90, so 20 USD each month. I paid for three months or so and got nine months. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to try it out and I want to start off with privacy and security because I know that it is important to a lot of people. So I'm just going to go through this. I'm not going to go deeply into the privacy stuff. I think there are people that are more tech savvy than me that can do uh, things like that. But let's just quickly go over uh, this. So user privacy and security is the first priority in Oprah Neon. I think every company would say that. Um, so to ensure your privacy is respected, they have designed uh, Neon so that sensitive information such as your login credentials, password, credit card details and cookies as much as possible stay on your device and are never sent to our AI agent. I don't like the fact that it says as, uh, as much as possible stay on your device. Um, don't really like that. In order to function, Neon Do needs to understand the content of web pages relevant to your tasks, to the tasks you assign it. To achieve this, Neon avoids as much as possible using screenshots of your browser. Instead, it utilizes the web page uh, structure. Uh, when using uh, Neon Do, it's only the web page content that is sent to Oprah's and Oprah. AI servers. All such information is deleted from Oprah's and OpenAI servers after 30 days. So it uses OpenAI uh, and they never train uh, models on your data. I like the fact that it actually deletes uh, stuff. Um, so uh, Neon Do runs locally within your browser and directly interacts with web pages. However, it uses cloud-based large uh, language models to generate the plans and instruction it follows. Uh, Neon makes runs, uh, prim Make runs primarily in the cr uh, cloud, uh, though its user interface is integrated into the Neon browser. Uh, last couple of things. Uh, there is some stuff around like payments. Neon Do operates within your browser session, for example, pages you're logged into and other session-based sites. If you sign into a site and enter your credentials, those credentials are not sent to any third-party servers. The same is true for payment details. I would still like uh, be careful with using these for things like banking, I'm even a little scared logging into LinkedIn, but I don't care about LinkedIn, so that's okay. Uh, what is Oprah and Neon's data retention policy? So data within Neon Chat and Neon Do is retained for 30 days, allowing you to return and continue chats and agentic workflow. After 30 days, dormant chats and workflows are deleted from our servers automatically. Your chats will still be accessible locally on your device and you can delete them according to your preferences. When you create new content with Neon Makes, the associated data is retained on our servers for six months, after which it is deleted automatically. You can review, review and delete your Neon Chat, Neon Do activity uh, through your chat window. You can also delete your open Oprah account anytime, uh, which will also delete all uh, Neon uh, data associated with that account. So um, that covers some of the privacy stuff. Again, uh, AI has a few privacy issues. So let's just quickly go over the user interface here. We have this sidebar, which you might be used to if you've used Oprah. So uh, you have your music, you can have Messenger, WhatsApp. I would probably like to have this WhatsApp thing after I've moved to Android. That has gotten a bit of an issue. Uh, there is an ad blocker and a VPN. It isn't actually a VPN. It is an HTTPS proxy. Uh, I actually use a real uh, VPN from Proton, uh, but this isn't a VPN. Uh, it is technical, uh, uh, just 
just so you're uh, you know that it isn't actually a VPN, but it does a lot of the same stuff inside of your browser. Just to give you like explain it quickly. Um, then you have this, which is the website. But what is this? Uh, so what happens if I click plus here? And what is the difference between here? It seems like I can have sort of workspaces. Um, so let's try to go into LinkedIn from here. Click this. So it seems like these function as workspaces. I like the way uh, this looks. I can open up the AI chat from my sidebar. Uh, so here I have a couple of different options. Uh, this is in Norwegian, so it says summarize, neon chat, uh, explore. And then I have my chat, my do, and my make. So let's actually jump into my own profile here. Uh, I tested this with perplexity as well, and let's try do. So here I can ask uh, it to do uh, something for me, uh, so a task. So let's say I wanted it to go, actually let's, turn off cap lock, caps lock before we write, go through my profile and find my best performing posts. Uh, so let's see what it does here. Uh, this is like the only use case I found for AI browsers. Uh, so it gives me the plan, analyze LinkedIn profile posts, uh, gives me the link, um, and um, it actually starts doing it. The page will navigate. So it actually starts navigating for you. Um, I don't think I have any like really good, uh, really good uh, LinkedIn posts, but what happens if I move away? Will it still continue to work? So it jumps back in here as the AI works. Can I open up another one? Another like workspace. So, that's what I'm like wondering. It says what it is doing here currently, um, but I'm wondering if I can continue to work. So let's just open up The Verge, for example. Uh, let's just have this open. It seems like this is still uh, working um, because that is really important. I've seen in other AI applications or AI browsers that this has been a little bit of an issue. It seems like it is done because it's flashing green now. Yeah, it's done. Uh, so it says tasks, uh, task is completed. Um, so um, it gives me, uh, it actually does a good job. So top five posts by, um, by engagement. Um, and it says like date post. This is actually quite impressive. Um, much better than what I think Perplexity did when I tested that out. Um, so it gives me, um, it was a terrible prompt. I should have probably said this year or uh, last year or uh, something like that. Uh, but um, it gives me the top five here uh, and then gives me highlights and insights. So most engaging po uh, post, your post about living with bipolar disorder, received the highest engagement, 19 reactions. This suggests that I like the fact that it brings up this as well. Uh, content about achievements, um, did a good job, engagement types, and it gives me a summary. So it does a good job. Um, let's see if I wanted to summarize something. Let's go ahead and uh, actually start a new chat. Can I do that? How do I do that? Um, I think that is this button right here. Uh, I can also open this in full screen, I think, or open the chat in full here. Um, Let's try to summarize this. So let's click here, open. Uh, so it asks me if I want to uh, remove the context. And in this case, I actually want to remove the context. So uh, I don't want to use do, can I ask, can I use neon chat instead? So here I have chat and I have do. So let's try to do chat instead, uh, summarize. I can't spell summarize this for me. Uh, summarize the privacy part for me. Let's try that, the privacy part for me. Let's press enter and let that get to work. Um, and um, 
let's see if it actually so it doesn't actually summarize let's try summarizing the web page summarize this web page maybe i will have to use the do uh, i can summarize the text of a web page without you having just ask me can why doesn't this work it seems like i have to use a do uh, so chat seems to basically just be uh, what they already had uh, which was the like sidebar ai chat it seems like you have to uh, use do in order to uh, in order to get this to do stuff in the browser summarize this web page let's allow that to work uh, let's open up a new page here let's close the verge because here i can choose between neon which is the default mode of the browser so i could just ask it like regular browser questions uh, what is the best browser let's uh, just try that and enter into chat and it will just do basic like what you're already used to <laughs> it of course answers oprah neon which isn't true uh, but uh, this is what you're used to from like searching ai chatbots um, and if i then instead use do we have tested out uh, chat is just chatting with ai what does make do uh, make an image of a robot let's just try that uh, so that opens up something new again um, this is done so it has actually gone ahead and summarized it so you will have to use the do in order uh, for the ai to be able to summarize a web page um, this will take a while um, if i like i've tested out uh, AI generations uh, several times but this is basically AI generating stuff for you so if you want an image or if you want something else this will do it for you I will just go ahead and stop the task because my guess is that it uh, runs the uh, open AI model so a, a lot of people have already tested that out um, I think that is everything important here uh, this is, of course, a first impression video. I like the interface. I think that is uh, really nice. Uh, this is also Chromium-based, so I should be able to um, to uh, download uh, Chrome extensions. Let's just search Google, browser extension, wrong button, browser extension. What I found is that it is a little slow, a little slower than uh, my other ones. Um, my other browsers like if you see here it takes a little bit of time until I can add this to Chrome uh, so I can actually add this uh, to the Oprah browser I think that covers it for today's video I've covered the main stuff I have mixed feelings about AI browsers but I think this is the best one I've tested yet am I happy paying $60 for this well, it is nine months, so I am a little happier than I would be otherwise, but uh, I'm not there yet where I would pay a lot of money for an AI browser, but I think that covers it for today's video.